Oh my goodness, you guys. What a way to end this week. Fabulous Friday. By, we've been featuring all week long in our family here, our 55 plus family. We have been featuring all of the things that have to do with our PT program. And we all have been following everything that Matt Kilgore has been doing. So I I don't even know how I got this uh, victory to get you to come on <laughs> and talk to our 55 plus family. But, you know, we've been growing. Uh, Steve, you and Dallas launched this uh, about six months ago. We're 1,800 of us have found our way. That's incredible. Already. And do we ever need you? And I know, <laughs> guys, he's been watching your work, your videos on YouTube. So he's very much aware we are complicated. Aren't we complicated? But I want you guys <laughs> just to get to know Matt as a as the person. Because really, Matt, you are in the busiest season of your stinking life right now. That is, and, that is not an understatement. <laughs> yes. So he's doing this early in the morning before he has to rush off to work. Plus, you have a young family. And this is the season we all can remember it, right? It's <laughs> my only, you know, people would have dreams. I'd like to have this sports car. I'd like to have this cruise ship, you know, all this stuff. I'd say, I, I just want sleep. Can I just right? that season of my life? Right? So thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for coming on, Matt. Sure, it, is, it is my pleasure. This is awesome. So I'm going to show just a couple of things here. And then actually, I'm going to have you introduce your family because I have them on this photo. All right. Too. Okay. So this is fabulous, Freddie. You're looking on here. This is uh, one of the knee halves, knee half number two, which by the way, I do all. Well, I can't do your number awesome. five yet, but that's because uh, I, I'm stuck at number four for a while, Matt. But all of us that have been doing your your shoulder ones, your back ones, the knee halves are phenomenal. So Matt's the face that you're you're gonna see on that. And then, but here's the cool thing, you guys, there's so much more depth to who he is. Um, he's a family man. I'd love for you to tell us your ages and your family there. And and he and also sure. if you wouldn't mind sharing too a little bit, Matt, about you're doing things in other locations in addition to your regular job. You're also doing uh your you're a level two, which you guys you need to know that's rare. Uh there's a lot of level one trainers that do our workouts across the US, but not that many yet that are level two. And that's what you are as well. And I put that you're a friend because I'll never forget we met at uh, <laughs> We met at DDP and Paige's Christmas party. And right. like uh, you could just feel your energy. And I know everybody <laughs> doing your workouts, Matt, already feel your kindness. You're such a kind individual. And it comes across when you teach us in these PT, physical therapy uh, workouts on our app, right? But I saw it firsthand and my husband was there too, got to meet you and adored you. And <laughs> needless to say, I think you might've won the award for the coolest ever Christmas sweater. Everybody tries to dress a little goofy, right? Cause Dallas would like that. Right, right. But you might've won the award that year. That's pretty sticky. <laughs> So, so tell us about your family and then also about what you do uh, in addition those, uh, with your instructor part. Sure. Yeah. So first of all, oh my gosh, thanks for having me. It's so good to see you and kind of catch up a little bit. Yeah. Um, you're awesome. I love your energy as well. You're so positive all the time and it comes across on just everything you do as well. So I, I am so thankful to be here with you, Pam. Oh, you're um, awesome. So my family, so as you can see, I've got two small kiddos and a lovely wife. Um, my son is just over two now, coming on like, he'll be two and a half this summer. So that's that's amazing. He loves to just hang out and play, and he definitely hits the mat with me. Um, he calls it uh, Oga instead of, he's trying to say uh, yoga, so it's Oga. So he does, he does a DDP Oga with me all the time. Um, and then my, my daughter, she's, uh, just over two months old. So we're doing the whole baby thing again. And Ari is just, oh my gosh, she's a saint. She's, she is mom. She's a PT. She's doing the rehab stuff too. And then she's just amazing. So we are living life, doing the small kids and just having a blast starting to raise them. And then we're looking forward to the summer to get out and do things, uh, throughout the city and the community and some trips and all that good stuff. So, so um, say your wife's name again, cause it's kind of so, like. 
unique. Yeah, so her name is Ariana. She goes by Ari. Okay. Yeah. 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 So yeah, it's a beautiful name. Oh gosh, yes. And your <laughs> son and daughter's names again are. Yeah. So my son is Will, and my daughter is L. So William and Daniela. So we we like the nicknames in our family. Oh, love <laughs> it. Love it. Go ahead. Share All the right. Uh, yeah, so then I've been a PTA for, gosh, coming on a decade now. And then, like you said, level two, um, love, love teaching DDP yoga, the traditional stuff and the PT stuff. It's so much fun. Um, I teach at my local YMCA Monday mornings. I got hooked up with the Air Force, uh, being a veteran myself, kind of snuck in that door and started doing some morale stuff and some DDP yoga workshops um for them once a month just to kind of come in and say hey this is kind of new you don't do this a lot but it's a it's a really cool thing that i do with them to build uh team building right they come in they do this i put i lead them through a class about an hour long and they do it together some have done it before some haven't and they kind of help each other through it and we we, we have a, just a ton of fun and it's a great morale builder and they get a good workout and a good sweat on and it's just a lot of fun so um, I do that as well. So yeah, it's, it's fun. Anything DDUI, anything PT, I'm doing it. So, uh, if, if they reach out to you and follow you on social media, on Facebook, you do mm -hmm. post like stuff that, that it's going on, right. That they might be. Yeah. To, yeah. Cause you're one yeah. part of the United States, Matt. So, okay. so I'm in the great state of Nebraska, right smack dab in the middle. So there's, there's uh there's that we got a lot of corn and a lot of planes going on here <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah i post everything i'm, I'm doing it, um on uh, usually instagram uh, facebook that kind of stuff i do lots of pop-up classes every now and then uh, definitely planning some for the summer so keep an eye out for that if you want to yeah. jump in if you're in the area right or even yeah. even not just come on down I tell people they should, when they're planning a vacation and they know they're going on certain routes, that they should always open up that map that um, is on the DDPY app and on their website. Yeah. They can see where instructors are all over. But now, yep. because you have gone to so many levels uh, of teaching with this thing, they should most definitely know if they're passing <laughs> through the state of Nebraska, for heaven's sakes, they better Dude, figure yeah. They better figure out if you got something going on that they could connect to. Yeah, right? shoot me, shoot me a message. Even if there's nothing going on, I'm always doing a workout somewhere. Just yeah, let's let's do it. Jump on in. <laughs> cool, cool. Well, um, so this thing that you launched, I can't even, I can't even personally thank you enough. But I know you were seeing those mm -hmm. panels of everybody that's so grateful. Oh my gosh, yes. Uh, and, and we do represent 1,800 of us that I'm pretty sure most of us have one or more. So were you catching on that we actually don't step into this for like in a traditional rehab, it's a healthy body, they have a knee thing, and then they go in, right? But in our case, uh, as you were hearing, some of them, it's just like all over their bodies. Um, right. So, so can you speak to just that idea of how people approach it when they in fact would need kind of all your three that are available right now? Sure. So yeah, I like to think of the body as a whole, right? So it's not just you're coming to see me or doing the program for a knee injury uh, or some or shoulder or whatever it may be. It's that's definitely a part of it, but it's a whole total body experience, right? Because the the if you had a knee problem, probably the ankle is affected, then the hip, and then it just kind of goes all the way up and down the chain, right? So it's, it's definitely a whole a whole body approach, thinking about different planes of movement and how to incorporate DDPY into physical therapy and physical therapy into DDPY and kind of mush them together uh, for what we're kind of coming up with. So we definitely take a zoom zoomed out look uh, when when we're doing these workouts for sure when we're planning them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. Cause I noticed you've now I can't say it like you say it, but something that makes reference to the core and you say that whatever with the whatever, what's that quote that you say? Cause it's two words. I don't even know. Uh, transverse abdominis. No, when you're whatever is right, your extremities will be right or whatever. Oh yeah. 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 So yeah. Proximal stability brings distal mobility. Yeah. That is, uh, that, that is, is my bread and butter mouthful. right there. I don't even right? know. You know, so say it again real slow to me and explain what it 
So, yep. So that is kind of at the center of what I love to do, right? So proximal stability brings distal mobility. So proximal stability, nice tight core, stabilizing like your core, your pelvis, your glutes, everything that's in your pelvis and your core that transfers out to your arms and legs. So the better your core is. Proximal. Proximal stability. What does the word proximal mean as it relates to your core? Is there so it just means near? So proximal is in toward the middle, and okay. distal is out toward your extremities. Okay, yeah, because that is. I mean, you make that really clear, and you you even say in one of them, you say, uh, "I'm gonna you're gonna hear this a thousand times." I'm like, it might take me that long to remember how <laughs> to say it to hear it, but that is really the core thing that you're talking about when we have all these yep. we it's still the spot that we head to, right? Yeah. Yep. yep. Always. I, I encourage everyone to always think about your core when you're, when you're doing the PT workouts and just workouts in general, right? So stabilizing from there first will transfer out to your arms and legs much more efficiently. And you're just going to move better and just feel better when you're moving. If your core is engaged and you're working those muscles uh, in, in that manner. So that's that's pretty awesome stuff. And I mean, DDP, why? I mean, that's the, at the essence of anyway, you know, that dynamic resistance, flex your quads, flex your glutes, you know, grab the ball. You're engaging all your muscles and your core already. So this is just a different way of saying that when, you know, DDP was already doing it from the beginning. Yeah. Well, I found it amazing too. On Wellness Wednesday, there was one of the guys on that panel, um, Joseph John, who mentioned... Um, and he's a school teacher, of course, and mm -hmm. young man, as far as I consider, I'm 69 and he's 50 something, but he was saying that his breakthrough happened so fast because he immediately also took the DDPY, all the teaching as it relates to the nutrition. So he got yeah. his inflammation down and he got his knees, um, because of what he was doing with you and those awesome. two things together. I think he said within a week already that severe pain that he'd been in for that's so for awesome years was gone yeah so, uh, that makes me so happy to hear stuff like that yeah. i love loved watching the youtube videos this week and kind of seeing what you guys are up to and hearing the stories and oh my gosh as as a therapist i mean it's just a, that's what you want right you want you want people to get back to what they love to do to be you know, pain free and move better and get out in the community and, you know, get on the floor with the grandkids or whatever it may be, or, you know, stand on one leg. It's just, uh, it stuff like that is, is amazing. That's why I love physical therapy so much. It's just, I love that kind of stuff. So that was warm my heart to see that for sure. <laughs> I think I honestly, but not all of DDPY is going to celebrate what you've created here and are going to keep because the hip one's coming soon, right? Yeah, working on hip now for sure. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, and others, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah. And I got to say, I mean, it's a total team effort, right? From like right. me, Josh, Steve, the whole production crew, and the people that have to edit this. I mean, it's just an amazing thing to be a part of to work to help so many people right so it's definitely definitely okay. a huge team team effort uh, going oh, yeah. on for and sure I know Dallas always always keeps a view over over everything yep. so I yep. know I know DDP himself has his hands right in there too yep so, for sure um, yeah yeah it's powerful but for sure I know within the 55 plus group we're poster childs to what you're doing um, <laughs> and we're getting so many breakthroughs already. I mean, that's already. so cool. Yeah. So yeah. The, you know, the hip one coming out, um, it's the same kind of thing, right? Somebody might have a hip, but they might still also have knee issues and all those. So it still goes mm -hmm. back to those two words you said, right? Yep. Yep. Proximal stability and distal mobility, right? Especially for the hip, because that's kind of right in that area. So we're going to kind of revisit some of that uh, back builder uh, fundamentals and then progress it for the hip as well and add in some, some new things. So it's, it's going to be pretty fun. Cool. Cool. <laughs> well, if you need any of these people that you've been watching this week to send you a video to help tweak anything you're headed towards, we have so many examples in our family. Yeah. But yeah. But the fact that you took the time to create each one of these things, because this isn't a natural part of physical therapy in the past, you've merged the two things together. 
and really yeah. level two instructor that also gave you another perspective right mm -hmm. yeah, yeah absolutely it's almost i think uh uh i think dallas said it a while back it, it's like reverse engineering ddpy right so it's ddpy is amazing it's has it's helped for you know back pain and strength and weight loss and just whole body health for so long yeah. and so it's physical therapy so what we've tried to do is break it down a little bit and work on isolating muscles and like reframing a focus in, in, a, in a different way to maybe help someone in a different way that hasn't that makes it help it click a little bit better you know and just kind of working uh from that angle it's been really rewarding really challenging and just a, a just a ton of fun to get to play in that in that arena and use my pt tools and my you know instructor tools together and then work with uh with josh pretty pretty hands-on to you know he's the, the master instructor master trainer to kind of put them together and you know get the flows going and put out something that uh, hopefully is you know helpful for a ton of people yeah we've had josh on a couple of times in the community and mm -hmm. seriously he is powerful the position yeah. the positions he plays over like all the trainers, all the fast track coaches, and just really, I, I knew he was the, um, uh, what do they call that, project manager over that, mm -hmm. and continues to be the project manager over that PT program, but his heart yep. so sold out to what you're doing, and he wanted to be a part of everything that that oh, was. Oh, for sure. For a couple of years, I think that's been in the making, right? Yeah, yeah. We've been working for, gosh, we did a back builder a couple of years ago. And then, so it's, yeah, it's been a couple of years just kind of plugging away and putting things together and, you know, getting them put out. And just, uh, it's been a, a lot of fun to, to, like I said, just to get to hang out and, and do this and put these workouts out and challenge my brain a little bit and uh, all that kind of great I'm stuff for sure. Your brain a ton to put all of these components together. And I even love how you put them numerically for us. You know, yeah. I had a new knee injury, you know, a couple of months ago and it hadn't been working well with the regular program. But when this launched and I stepped into that, you're, when you go to one and two, I feel like they were warm ups for where I'm at personally. Mm -hmm. But I get to three and it starts to be like, okay, there you're doing something, girl. And then you, I got to, yep. but I knew in four, five and you even say it throughout don't go on to number five if this isn't you know stay here right me too yep so you're yeah the way you're the way you articulate what we're doing right and even give us the freedom to modify because number four is the one that i'm having to modify and i figure until i yeah don't have to modify so much then go on to five and that's kind of yep. how you put the rhythm of all of these for us is that correct absolutely yeah absolutely they're they're made one through five you know starting out small with range of motion and then you build upon that throughout the the other four workouts uh and that's the great thing about it right ddpy is you know modify 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 make it your own yeah. same thing with these pt workouts modify don't be afraid to take it slow. I always tell my patients that physical therapy is a marathon. It's not a sprint. Oh, you know, it's, oh. it's, it's not, it's not going to be fast. It's not going to be like in and out, but it's, you build strength, you build that foundation. And then from there, you start to have little successes and over, you know, a few months, a few weeks, you know, sometimes longer depending on, on, on the person, those little successes add up to massive change over time. Right. So in our case, you start out with kneehab one, just yeah. do a range of motion, right? Getting your quad working, getting it bent, okay. straighten it out. And then from there, you boom, 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 you you succeed, you move on. And before you knew it, you're doing five, doing lunges and all the other stuff that we have been doing there. So yeah, take it slow. Don't don't be afraid to go slow and don't be afraid to go backward too, right? You know, it's just, you know, like you did, you know, try it out, go back to four for a while. You know, I do that all the time. I love to go back to every once in a while to the, like the beginner, like DDPY workouts on the app and doing myself because they're so fun. And it's just a, a good way to kind of just go back and just do them because it's, why not? Right. They're there. So same thing with, with the PT series, go back and check them out and move on. And then they're, they're, they're there to help you.
Yeah. And so if they're stepping into one of those, I've, I've tried to explain, no, these are numerical. This is different than all of our other workout programs on the app. Um, <clears throat> would you always suggest, I mean, I didn't know the day I started with those. I just figured, okay, I'll start with one. I knew right away that was fine. Do you always suggest everybody go ahead and start with one because you're going to find the number as you move along? Is yeah. That yeah, that's what I that's what I would recommend. That's kind of why their numbers start small and then build upon that. Work your way up. If like kind of like you did, if you do one, you're like, well, that was really easy. You know, my knee bends just fine. Yeah. yeah. Then move on to two, and then kind of see where you want to hang out for a while, and then stay there, and then try the next one. So yeah, definitely, I definitely definitely recommend starting with uh with one and seeing where where you like to hang out at. What feels yeah. good for you. So our theme this week was note to self, it's okay to not have it all figured out yet. And boy, I'm the PT thing is so that thing. You have to like listen to the body and then shift back down, yep. go forward. But it, yep. it you don't, you're not going to figure it all out immediately. Your body takes you on a different journey every day with these, right? Yeah, absolutely. That is 100% true. And I always say that, healing and PT and rehab is a lot like your mood, right? Sometimes you're in a great mood. Sometimes you feel kind of blah. Sometimes you're kind of sad. Sometimes you're happy. So healing and rehab I found is a lot like that. You're going to have good days and you're going to have some not so good days. The important thing is to be consistent and keep doing what it is you're doing. Maybe you don't go, you know, you're not feeling it. Maybe you go back to a two for that day, but listen to your body. Don't push into any pain. I always say, and just, you know, you're going to ride that wave, you know, up and down as you're healing, but you'll just keep consistent and you'll make great gains over time. Yeah. Well, sure. I, love, I love Dallas idea where he talks about seven days a week. And you'd mentioned that, that if they're going to two or three days rehab, and this is already past the, what mm -hmm. the and physical therapist said that this could be added in on the opposite days, right? Absolutely. But yeah. So, for okay. sure. So yeah, healing happens, you know, 24, seven, 365 is, uh, as Josh loves to say, right. And I really picked up on that too. Um, it does, it doesn't just happen in the clinic, you know, on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday for whatever your appointments are, right. The body's always healing and always, you know, progressing and doing things. So movement, the body's made to move, just moving, getting in a little bit here, a little bit there is, is crucial. And these are structured in a way to kind of help facilitate either your current PT care, if it aligns with, you know, the plan of care from your physical therapist, mm -hmm. but especially after, you know, after your care is ended, we don't want you to just stop doing your PT, your exercises or stop moving. we want to continue those amazing gains you had in therapy so you can continue to do all the things you love to do. So there's definitely, that is a huge component, but also like prehab, as I call it, right? If you're going in for a total knee, you know, this might be a great thing to do prior to your surgery to get those quads working or just kind of prepare um, if it's something that uh, that you want to do and that aligns with what you and your doctor and, and your your PT kind of want to do as well. So there's yeah. all these different approaches that uh, that the, the DDPY PT is kind of finding its home for. And it's 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 pretty cool to see it help, you know, so many people and just uh, be a part of, you know, such a great community already. So it's, it's pretty exciting. Yeah. Well, I love, I love what you shared about that. We're going to have days that are different that we'll wake up. Yep. And for my case with the knee, it's sometimes when I just screwed up during the night and I'm guessing the shoulder and everybody else experiences that too. If you do a wrong thing during the night when you're sleeping you <laughs> up and you feel like, yeah. What did I do to myself? And so even keeping with the idea of seven days a week on those days that you wake up and you just know it's not a great day you can at least go to the first uh I mean I look yeah forward, I look forward to one and two because they're just like I don't know they just feel so great right yeah absolutely so they could go to the lower numbers of that thing if that was a day they for could, sure yeah awesome. yep absolutely Awesome. Well, thank you for continuing to clarify it. I know you guys are still working hard on more and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you're at uh, the performance center, I don't know about you, but when I get there, I'm always like, yes, it's like I'm at Disney world only better. Right. Like I went yep. 
what you know and so it's cool that you're coming yeah. up and, and taking your time from your family your job to do all this so we appreciate you yeah. huge Matt. oh my gosh it is my absolute pleasure i love the ddpy community and just the rehab community in general so anytime i get to help someone or gets you know just help someone on their journey do whatever, what does may be, you know, I'm so grateful for all of you guys that are doing these workouts and benefiting from them. And it is, it is my absolute joy to, to be a part of it and to, you know, help, help out where I can and just, you know, help. Yeah. Well, you're changing lives, Matt. So, and I, Oh, thanks Pam. For getting up and doing this before you had to head off to work. And just even thinking about the fact you have two little kids, everything going on and you took the time to end our fabulous friday a great week we've been celebrating what you've been doing but thank you for taking your time sure it is it is my pleasure we're hanging out in the garage because it's a it's, it's a pretty quiet place and we're not going to be interrupted by my son flying across the screen so uh my gosh pan it was so good to see you so good to catch up um guys keep doing the pt stuff keep moving and then just stay positive smile keep consistent and then like uh, like Pam was saying, uh, don't be afraid to reach out to me on social media. I love love to hear the stories that's been going on. So Pam, you're doing amazing things with the with your group and the community. Um, it's it's so, it's so fun to see what's going on. Yeah, well, it's Dallas and Steve's group, but I get to play in there. So sure, yeah. sure. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun to play. Yeah, when Steve when Steve called me and said we've been thinking about launching this for a while, a Facebook group for fifty five. Yeah. For quite a while, he said, if we launch it, would you be willing to be in there with admin and do things? And I'm like, sure. Okay. And, uh, uh, just a few. And you know how they move, right? A few hours later, this is in the morning at two in the afternoon. He calls me, he goes, okay, we're launching it in two days. I'm like, right. Oh, you mean like right away. So like, <laughs> sure. yeah. But when they decide to go, it, they go. And it's, it's pretty fun. And you just kind of hold on and you're like, let's do it. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Well, love you tons, Matt. Thanks again. All right. Back at you. Hopefully we get to catch up soon. And, uh, you know, I'm going to give you a big hug next time I see you. Yeah. Can't wait. Seriously. And give give your wife and kids high from all of us because you're saving I all sure the space so that we get to play with our grandchildren. So that's what you. it's all about. That's what it's all about. That's so good to hear.